Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the series. In this part we're going to be talking about uh, coloring a um, old school rose tattoo design. So again, it doesn't really matter which way you do this, which medium you use, either if it's digital or traditional. The, um, guidelines are the same so what I will do now is um, start blocking in the color and the traditional color scheme for these um, these tattoos is um, red yellow and green so I'm gonna start blocking in color. If um, you're interested in my method of uh, blocking in color using Adobe Illustrator, be sure to check my um, my video. I have one exactly on this uh, this theme. Yeah. So I think we should be jumping into time lapse for this. There's no point in doing this in real time. Okay, so for a uh, traditional design, you can leave this as it is. Most of them are um, just thick lines and blocky colors. But if, um, if you want to take it a step further, you can always add some shading. I think it's about, um, about shading on... Um, this type of uh, designs is that the shading was really really blocky as well so and only found in, in uh, certain parts of, uh, of the design so there are basically two types of shading when it comes to to traditional designs so one uh, type of shading would be using black using true black and just go going around the parts where um, well shadow makes sense just like this it's basically every part where um, two shapes come together So shading will look something like this. On um, again, this is not very elegant, to say the least. So another type of shading would be using um, again blacks with the, starting with the gradient from black to well, actually less transparent black. The sheets were, were uh, the shading was very and still is very blocky again and and abrupt. I can use that word. So there won't be a smooth shading going through all the um, the values. Goes something like like this. So this is how shading on a traditional design would look like again it's very blocky but it's it's better than it's more stylized than um just having black as a shade so i'm gonna continue shading this uh, piece in time lapse and see you on the other side
Okay, so this is how it would uh, look in a traditional um, design. Of course, you can probably get better um, results working in a traditional medium, like, uh, I don't know, even color crayons and paper. But the best way to get the result, the best results is using ink and paper. Again, not all of the elements of the of the design are usually shaded are, are shaded right now and this is the traditional way you can also go in with shading in the inner bud or uh, on the stem but that's that's not necessary okay thank you for watching and remember have fun create see you next time cheers